the coffee cooperative has been with the Rwanda Coffee Project for two years now and I'm really excited to see all the changes they've been able to achieve. Yes, ubu umunyamuryango wa cooperative yagiye gusarura ikawa ye amenye ikawa sarura nziza ishobora guhesha amanota cooperative kandi tuba dufite uburyo dushobora kumenya buri kawa yose buri muhinzi yavuyeho I'm very impressed by how much Sholi has taken on what this project has to offer. Better quality of the coffee and access to market contacts can help the cooperative on top prices. Since its start, the cooperative has sent its coffee samples to 20 buyers already. So that's, that's huge. I've been working in coffee industry since 2005, which makes 15 years. For me, going around the world selling run and coffee from different cooperatives, including Shori Coffee. Uh, how much did you score it? Why you hire guy? Yeah, I'm the first one. No, no, it's seven. You find this caramel, uh, dark chocolate aromatics, and blonde sugar uh, coming to the taste, citrus fruits like. For about the finish of this coffee is uh, where you find these lingaling fruits the whole day balanced with this chocolate, which makes you to feel you need more. Farmers now are confident. They understand what they are doing like starting by harvesting like cherries, processing it the same way to deliver a special coffee grade to the market. Since the Rwanda Coffee Project began in 2018, the eight cooperatives have met 15 new commercial buyers. 800 coffee workers have been trained, half are women. Exports have grown by 15%. Buyers in countries like Scotland are noticing the difference. It's just the balance, it's just so perfect. There's a sparkly acidity, a little bit of black currant. I'm a certified Q grader which is like your, I suppose, equivalent to a sommelier of wine. You've got the fruit mixed with this more syrupy a hint of chocolate, just a nice mellow sort of creamy, milky chocolate. It, it's actually very good value for money in terms of what it delivers. The quality is, is right up there and it's consistent, which as a buyer is very important as well. Here's your coffee beans, Katie. When I heard about the Rwandan Coffee Project, we decided to get some samples of coffee in that had been sourced from Rwanda. We serve an awful lot of coffee every day. It's my job to source the coffee that our 20,000 students, 3,500 staff and our corporate clients drink. It's really rich. Um, you can tell, tell it's a quality product. It's really important, I think, for us to know that we're getting our coffee from a sustainable source and that people are being treated well. When buying coffee, you always look for the fair trade label. I didn't actually know the coffee came from Rwanda um, and I didn't know it was backed by uh, Scotland but um, it's a great idea and even better coffee. I'm a food and drink journalist. 
coffee culture in Scotland really has expanded exponentially. Scots are increasingly interested in where their food and drink comes from. And coffee's great for that because, and especially the Sholi, you can say, my coffee's Sholi from Rwanda. And that's, at the moment, it's quite new and it can only grow. I feel very proud that Scotland's had the foresight and the courage of its convictions to put money into Rwanda and to bring it into the international market on a fair platform with everyone else.